Welcome to another episode of PSLE Science Made Simple. My name is Jolie and I'm a PSLE Science Specialist from the PIG Lab. Now in this video, I'll be analyzing a past year examination question on the topic of light. I've included this question in the handout which you can download for free by clicking on the link in the description box below. Without further ado, let's get started. Now, four identical torches were shown at four different objects PQRS and then the objects were actually made of different materials and this actually causes different shadows to be cast on similar screens. So, they then ask you which one of the following could objects PQRS be? So, let's take a look at the shadow that was cast by object P. Now, for object P, we notice that there is a shadow that is formed. But what can you say about the shadow? Is it dark or is it faint? It is actually a very faint shadow. So, over here, we would say that there is a faint shadow observed. Now, when there is a faint shadow observed, it means that not all light was blocked, but some light was blocked. So in that case, what can you tell me about the transparency of object P? Is it opaque, translucent, or transparent? It is translucent. So we know that object P is translucent. Now let's take a look at the shadow that is cast by object Q you notice that the screen is blank. There is no shadow formed. So over here, when we do not observe a shadow, that means no light from the torch was blocked. Now that goes to tell you that object Q must have allowed most or in fact all light to pass through. So what can you tell me about the transparency of object Q? It is transparent. Now, finally, looking at the shadows cast by object R and S, we can observe that they both cast a dark shadow. So over here, since they both cast a dark shadow, that means all light from the torch was blocked by object R and S. So what can you tell me about the transparency of R and S? They are both opaque. Now, with this information, we should be able to get our answer. Okay, so for object P, remember, we are looking for an object that is translucent. Okay, now the first option that's given to us is a mirror. And students do struggle to understand why the mirror is actually an opaque object. Because they know that the mirror does reflect light. Okay, but when the mirror reflects light, all the light that is shown on the mirror is reflected off the mirror. What essentially it does is that since the light is bounced off in another direction or reflected off in another direction, that means light is actually blocked from reaching the wall behind the mirror. So since the mirror is able to block all the light from reaching the wall behind the mirror, we can say that the mirror is actually an opaque object. So students need to remember that for a mirror, it is opaque. It is opaque. Okay, but of course for object P, we're looking for a translucent material. So the mirror is not a possible option. Tracing paper, yes, it's translucent. Clear glass is transparent. So this is wrong. And then frosted glass, yes, it is translucent as well. Okay, now let's take a look at object Q. For object Q, we want it to be transparent. So we're left with option 2 and 4. Now, we have mirror as one of our options, but as mentioned earlier, the mirror is opaque, so we'll put a cross. And then we have clear glass. Yes, clear glass is transparent. Okay, and then finally, we have object R and S, which we have observed that it was opaque. Okay, and option 4, wood is opaque and mirror is opaque. So in that case, number 4 is the correct answer. Thank you for watching and I hope you enjoyed this video. If you found this video useful, do give us a thumbs up. If you want to check out the other videos we have made, do click on the links on the right hand side. Last but not least, don't forget to subscribe to our channel for more interesting videos. I'll see you next time. Bye bye!